Hey kids, it's Mrs. Gum. Today I'm not coming for to you from the basement. I am in my dining room and I have a couple of guests. I have Eric Hi. and I have Caitlin. And today we're going to be making this geodesic dome. And it, we have to make equilateral triangles and that's actually gonna be the hard part of it is making equilateral triangles because we're trying to find things that you can find at your house to use for that. So I'm going to show you a few of the supplies that we have here. We have pencils and scissors and different levels of cardboard and string and different kinds of tape. And I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna start you off by using a compass. Bless you, Eric. And um, we are going to protect the table so that your parental units do not kill you for cutting through the table. Um, I'm gonna use a Teddy Graham box because it's the easiest thing to use. And I'm gonna have to flip the camera around. And Eric's going to film me showing you different ways that you can do this and then they're going to show you also. So I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut open my box. Maybe I will cut open my box. Okay. First thing you have to do is decide about how long you want your triangle to be. Just one side and since it's an equilateral triangle all of the sides have to be the same. So you can use a ruler, which I did not bring up with me, or just anything that has, has a straight edge. I'm going to use this sewing kit that we found, and I'm going to do my triangle this long. You don't even have to know how long that is, because if you have a math tool like a compass, which is what this is, what you do is you measure from one end of your line to the other end of your line, like this. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna make this little arc up here. And then I'm gonna take this and make sure it's still the same. It moved on me a little. And I'm gonna make another little arc up here. And if you can see where those little arcs meet, it should be exactly the length of this sewing kit because I did exactly that length. So there's where my arcs meet. And that's going to make me an equilateral triangle. So if you have a compass, it's a pretty easy thing to do, is to make an equilateral triangle. There are other ways we can do an equilateral triangle. You can get something pokey like a toothpick and maybe some yarn. And you can tie your pencil to one end of the yarn or string or thread and then you can tie the toothpick to the other end or wrap it around and you can get your arc like this. Use, use this piece of string and you'll get your arc like that. Um, I'm not sure what Eric is going to do or use but once you have one triangle made, cut it out, and then you can just use that as the pattern for the rest of your triangles. So Eric, do you have any ideas about how you might make your triangle? I have a for this. I know. That's... It canceled it. Nope, we're good. Yeah, keep going. What were you going to use? Oh, do you have paper up there? Um, I can get you a piece of paper. Sure, that would work. Right there next to you is a legal pad. Okay. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay. Explain what you're doing. I'm going to use this side to be my length. Of okay. Side. Okay. It's not going to be very straight because paper isn't very sturdy. Okay. 
Um, I did have an idea, but I was going to do. I'll use the paper to measure from one corner and then make my arc by holding the pencil to the paper as closely as I can. Very amateurly done. You're pretty snazzy. I know. That might be a bit short. I don't have steady hands. But that would. That would connect there. up? Okay. Right about there. How would you check to see if it's the right length? By using this piece of paper. Right, because it should be the same length as what you drew. Yep. And okay. You draw along it. And, oh, that's a bit short on this side. Okay, but that is another way to make an equilateral triangle. You use that. Um, another thing I had grabbed was needles, because that would be a good thing for the pokey end to keep it steady. Mm -hmm. So Eric could have put a needle in there, but he probably didn't realize I had needles. Nope. Sorry, Eric. So anyway, the next steps that you would take is you would make as many equilateral triangles as you possibly could. Um, Let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 triangles involved. Did I count that right? I think that was 15. You skipped was 15. it 15? I think so. Well, you know, your math teacher can't count. And that's a sad, sad state of affairs. Okay, so you could make a small one like this, or we've actually considered going outside when it's not quite so windy and making a really big one maybe that we could stand under or get underneath. So um, now you all get to just watch us uh, make a bunch of triangles. Ready to make triangles? Yeah. Okay. See, I'm just using my first triangle and I'm just tracing it over and over and over again. Eric works on that. I'm going to show you how construction goes for this. I took apart my old triangles. And um, what you do is you put five triangles together. Then they end up kind of flipped up like this. So that you get your dome. And you just keep taking tape, whatever kind of tape you happen to have. And you just keep taping triangles onto the edge of your original triangle dome, which is five triangles taped together like that. So then I'm going to just keep taping triangles together. So right to the top dome that you started. Right around the edge. Until you get all the way around and then you have all these flapping off the sides like so looks like a star then you're gonna take more triangles and you're gonna tape those side ones together using another triangle and 
unless you try and use old tape and it falls off. So now you tape those together. And you just keep working at it until you end up with a complete dome. Like Sorry, ladies, that I'm blocking your view of Eric. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two more? I already have this one. Thirteen plus two. Okay, so you keep going and going and going. Alright, get to cut. Last. One. Until you end up with a dome like this. And it takes a little time because now Eric has tapped out and Caitlin has taken mm -hmm. over for cutting out the triangles. I didn't kick you out. I just got bored. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you how to do the lot, the triangle again so that you can see it better, I hope. I'm gonna use this colored pencil to do it. So I'm just gonna make a line. Any length will work, a straight line. Then you take your pencil and you tie on some yarn or some string or whatever you want to use. Um, Eric tried to do it with a piece of paper as it, as his arc maker. So I'm going to tie this on here. Okay. So you do this, put it at the end of the line that you drew. Grab a toothpick or a needle or something pokey that'll hang on. And then you stretch the yarn to your pokey instrument. It could be another pencil. Okay, I've got that stretched. Now I'm gonna try and keep this pencil and this toothpick straight up and down. And you're gonna draw an arc like that-ish. Now I'm going to go to the other side, put the pencil on the other end, put the toothpick on the other side, you can kind of see where those are going. I just broke my toothpick. I am so strong. And then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw another arc for the other side. Try and keep them straight up and down. Okay, where those just crossed, that is where you're going to make your triangle. So I'm going to go from this end to the arc. This does not look perfect, but we will survive. So now this goes to that end of the arc. And there you have an equilateral triangle. So I would cut that out and then use that as a template for all of your other triangles. And it does take 15 of them. 